Fellas, Ninjago is absolutely incredible. The sets are always just top tier, but recently it's been going downhill a bit. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that the Ninjago set designers do an absolutely incredible job. All that I'm saying is basically, I really, really like Lego and money. You know. Today, I'm going to be trying to become a Ninjago set designer. And to show Lego my worth and why they should employ me, I firstly need to make the greatest Ninjago set ever. Step one, have an absolutely flawless creative vision, the likes of which society has never seen. Step two, create the best Ninjago set ever made and get Lego to employ me. Step three, become the CEO of Lego. And finally, make my parents proud. <laughs> okay, we may only be able to do three of those things. And with my goals set and studying for finals thrown out the window because Ninjago is my life now, it was finally time to get started. <laughs> Boys, before we can do any kind of, you know, designing, we need to start, you know, picking out a couple of things from here and there from all the Ninjago sets and see what, what the common theme is, what things cross over in many, many Ninjago sets, what minifigures come in the most sets, what vehicles are the most common. Needless to say, Boys, it's big brain time. So here I've got Bricklink open, where basically you can see every single Lego set that's ever existed. And with regard to Ninjago, I think it's pretty obvious that, you know, Ninjago Legacy has quite a lot of sets. Alright, so just taking a brief look at all of the Ninjago sets, if there's one thing that the Ninjago set designers really like to do, it's make these weird black kind of vehicles that are 4x4. Four four. And just really quickly, if I have a look at my Ninjago collection over here, let's just count how many of these, you know, vehicles I have. One, two, three. Alright, you know, look, fair enough, maybe I do only personally own three, but just trust me, it's quite a recurring thing. I'm sorry, but can we just have a look at this quickly? Jesus Christ, there is so many Ninjago bikes. It's very, very unnecessary. Now, if we have a look on Bricklink quickly, Cole, for example, he obviously, you know, he appears in a ridiculously huge amount of sets because he's, he's one of the four main ninja. That makes sense, right? But Kai, on the other hand, is he's a completely different story. This guy here appears in about a total of, you know, 10 sets. Now, with the common themes taken into account, it was time to speak to the people of this great nation. In intellectuals, people so intelligent that they might just be able to help me. Uh, and Twitter. Obviously, one of the main things to consider when making a new Ninjago set is how well it's going to sell. And I thought that I could do that by asking the Ninjago community. It went really, really badly. <laughs> but boys, I have to say, my all-time favourite set has to be uh, Darith, Darith Lamp. That sounds like a fantastic set. Don't know about you, but I would buy that. This one in particular, um, you know, stands out as being something that would probably be quite realistic for LEGO to do. Someone put one that is worth my money. Guys, I'm trying to become a LEGO designer, not some kind of mirror Miracle maker. I even I can't do that. To be completely honest with you fellas, I've never been prouder. The people were sharing the good word of Darith, and we were one step closer to creating the ultimate Ninjago set. The only slight issue with this is that I, I don't necessarily know that Lego would, you know, appreciate this. I think it's maybe not appropriate for kids. Now it was time for me to avoid revising as best as I could and spend several hours putting over 200 responses into a spreadsheet so that I could break down what people really wanted in the ultimate Ninjago. Alright, so what I've done is I've actually entered about 20 of the sets that I think would actually make a lot of sense as the ultimate Ninjago set into this spreadsheet here. I've given them a ranking from 1 to 10. So just looking at this, as you can probably see, the majority of the sets are location sets. So that's something that I was kind of expecting because we don't tend to get many of them from Ninjago and when we do get them, they are very, very poppers. In addition to that, having looked at all of the responses that I got, the majority of them were, you know, Borg's Tower, which again, that was to be expected. <laughs> Alongside that, we also had sets like Darren's Mojo Dojo, the Corridor of Elders, Four Weapons, and Ed and Edna's Junkyard. But in terms of kind of just thinking about sets that I could imagine LEGO like releasing, Borg's Tower is definitely one of them. Now, not necessarily the $300 set that everybody keeps suggesting, but maybe a slightly downgraded version. So Borg's Tower it is. Now it was time to actually create the Ultimate Ninjago set. A product so great that LEGO like would have no choice but to hire me. So I got started. And here are the results. See, one of the slight things that I hadn't necessarily considered was the fact that creating the best product that humanity had ever seen and being the best creative genius ever was a slight bit more difficult than I'd initially thought. I mean, sure, this is a masterpiece, but it has a, a couple of glaring flaws. So I contacted Benny Briggs, an incredibly talented LEGO builder over on YouTube, and asked for his help. Shut up. You seriously think I'm gonna work for you? Ah, such a moron.
So, with Benny Bricks completely on board with all of my ideas, everything was coming together perfectly. Basically, my plan for Borg's Tower is to make it a similar scale to the Avengers Tower, more play scale than anything else, for the kids. Also, because this is a Ninjago Legacy set and Borg's Tower is in tons of seasons of Ninjago, I do actually want to try and include as many missing Ninjago minifigures as humanly possible. We're talking Cyrus Borg, Gale Gossip, although she should really stay away from Dareth, or oh, I swear to god, it's not going to be good. As you can see here from my highly detailed drawing, I also wanted to include something Dareth related, so let's check in with Benny Bricks's progress. Help! Someone let me out! Uh, just let me breathe. I haven't seen my family in three days and I'm so hungry. <laughs> Boys! It's a few days later and Benny's finished the build. The build is going to get Lego to hire me and show everybody my creative genius. Even though he was the one who like, built it and did most of the work, but still, it's time. So, we got uh, the board tower set. There's a lot of characters in this set as well. Oh, dude. I, I, I'm a bit speechless here because let, let's just quickly have a look at the source material that I sent you. How the hell, how did you get this absolute behemoth from what I sent you? It was a very good drawing. It, it was quite detailed. Some would say that I'm quite a bit of an artist, artiste. I wanted it to have like a very similar type of design to the like tower in the show. I love the insides because i was not expecting you to do anything in there that's so cool oh, i ah yeah. oh, dude oh the minifigures as well yeah uh we got nelson we got borg or cyrus borg we got uh business lady gail gossip <laughs> she's irrelevant we don't need to be <laughs> yeah, okay. we got bike lady Darren, <laughs> pixel with the wrong hair hi cole and dead lord the minifigures are popping off a bit popping off a bit all right let, let's say in a theoretical world that you were lego and i was to send you this set would you employ me this is the question no? No, I'm kidding. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my- oh. You're getting mouthy now, Benny Bricks. I swear to God, I'm gonna put you back in the chamber. Alright, fellas, so we've got the finished set. But now, last but not least, we need to see what the people think. Hello, people of this great nation. I come to you with the best thing ever created. Also, Lego, can you, like, hire me, please? Here we go. I've done it. There's no going back now. And fellas, people absolutely loved it. Like seriously, not a single person thought that this set was bad. And now all that's left to do is to get hired by Lego. So if you're watching this video, please Lego, give me a job. And also maybe like, you know, subscribe to me and Benny Bricks. That would be poggers.